So please try to chant thy name and carry it with you. I say it's a syllabus. Ghar, home. What is home? From where we started. From where we started? From the Lord. And where we have to go back? To the Lord. Destination of a drop of water is to become ocean one day. And destination of Atma is to become Paramatma one day. It depends how much time it takes because of the karma. Similarly, a bad student is always scared of the result. Because he knows that he'll be getting shouting everywhere and he'll be laughed at that he failed. And brilliant student always waits for the results because he has done well. Let's be brilliant students of Lord so that when death arrives, we're not scared of the result. We are waiting for the death. We are waiting to go home back to be part of the Lord. But if we fail somewhere, we have not been a good student, but we have been an average student. We'll be born with that merit. Why? Because we have to complete the course. Course is, God knows how many times we have to come and go back. One day, be part of the Lord. That is the over. The course is over. Now, why we be bad students and come so many times when we got the chance, when we got today, you might be listening to me and some people are not listening or some people may not find it very interesting or some people might find it boring. But you are trapped. You are stuck. Why? Whenever you will be produced in front of the Lord, you cannot say, I didn't know this. He said, I sent a man specially came to you for almost one hour. He kept shouting and you said, I didn't know. Hang him or her, whatever system he must be having. So you are stuck now. Either you should not have been here. And if you've been here, you cannot go in front of Lord and say, well, Lord, please, I didn't know about this. No, you know it. He said, I sent specially a person and he shared my, means his thoughts with you. These are not my thoughts. Honestly, believe you me, uh, with full humility, I share it with you. And why I'm, 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 I'm using so much force and stressing it so much? Because I want, if one of you starts chanting thy name, if one of you starts tasting that, that happiness, that contentment, that anand, that ecstasy, that one is not one for me because he will become mother or father tomorrow and mother and father are the first teacher, first guru of the child. The children watch the parents what they do and they start following them. Just normally they start following them. So that means I have been somehow with the blessing of the guru instrumental in changing one whole generation. And it's like somebody goes to sell a life insurance, insurance policy. And he says, if you take this insurance policy, your life, your children, your family will be secure. And I say, if you take this policy of mine, of thy name, your generations and generations and generations are secure. You'll be happy here and you'll be happy hereafter. Please try this. Because, and what is, what, why, why that like I'm talking, why I'm stressing it? One of you, I'm done with. One of you, it starts, I'm blessed. It's my greed and how? You also don't keep it to yourself. Share it with people. That Lord never keeps anybody's due. Whatever you do, like insurance people have sub-agents. So sub-agent gets 15%, 10%, 5%. Similarly, you don't have to tell him, you don't have to submit a paper to him that I did this, I did so many sessions and all that. No, it's already recorded. Tu dariyao, sab tujhi hi maa hai. Tujh bindu ja koi na hai. Sab tere andar hi hai. Lekin, how will you know that kuch aya? Peace se. With peace, with contentment, with happiness, with anand, with carefreeness. He is be mohtaj. Begharaz. And if you get connected with him, you'll also become carefree, absolutely be motaj, be Paras, 
I don't know what you call it in English. Paras is something, a kind of stone, precious stone, rare stone. If it touches the iron, it becomes gold. That's a mythology, a saying. So if Paras touches a gold and a, a, a iron and makes it gold, the beauty of thy name is, is such a Paras that whosoever it touches, it makes that person also a Paras. That person also becomes Paras. Doesn't become gold, it becomes Paras. It, it becomes part of him, part of thy name. So try. You all are blessed that Guru made this occasion because what we are doing this, we are doing satsang. This was satsang. It was not a lecture. Satsang what? Satsang is what? Sat means truth. Such. Sang means sat. Company. Company of truth. So when we talk, whichever way, in any form, anywhere, it's a satsang. So I get the opportunity of talking about the Lord, praising the Lord, trying to convince some people that believe in the Lord. Don't let anybody tell you anything. And sometimes people tell you, they criticize other religions. They create hatred. That means that person is not religious. No religion tells you, teaches you hatred. Everybody is saying he is one. Then how can be small, better or good or lesser? It's the same. You call him Allah, you call him Vaigru, you call him Om or you call him God. He is one. But still people are fighting. That means they don't know. And they use the religion to create tension and to create problems. Mera vadiya oda mada hai. Oh, kharaab hai. Nahi. Sare oda na hai gaya So try from today. And the use of this whole thing, this whole conversation and discussion satsang is... I will feel that it was worth if one of you starts chanting thy name from today. Some must be doing. But you know what happens, like I said, the only trick and technique is listen to your voice. We have made CDs, we have made films uh, of Shabbat. You can listen to that, you can put in your earphone, that's the best way. But if you can chant yourself and listen to your voice, that's the best way. Like we have uh, frozen things, frozen vegetables. And we have fresh vegetables. So when you chant yourself, it's fresh vegetable. Like all the vitamins and everything is absolutely full. And when you have frozen stuff, it works. But it's, it doesn't have every vitamin, every mineral to the fullest. It doesn't have. So this is the best way when you chant yourself and listen to your voice. Second is somebody else can chant and you can listen. And third is that you can have a CD of Shabbat's Gurbani, Satnam Vahiguru. And put into your earphone so that no other sound comes. It doesn't disturb. Only that sound and close your eyes and let it go, sink in. Just keep doing it, watch what happens. It was the end. Don't let anybody tell you anything. Shabbat is the Guru. Nanak, Naam, Jahaz hai, Chade se utre par. Naam, Shabbat is the Guru. You just keep chanting and listening to it. It will hold your arm, it will guide you. And you'll be amazed absolutely. Sometimes you'll laugh. Sometimes you'll start crying. Sometimes you'll get emotional. Sometimes you're eating something. And it's very tasty. And you'll be into tears. You'll be moved to tears. And you start thanking my Lord. Thank you my Lord. Wah Guru. Wah. Wah. Why? How tasteful things. How beautiful things you have made in this world. And then you put glands in your mouth. That don't just fill your stomach. Enjoy the taste. And eat it. How careful. How kind you have been. You look at the sun, you remember him. Look at the flower, you remember him. Anywhere. And everything will remind you of Lord. That is the state of mind. That is the stage you will come gradually. It will take time. 